babe? What's up? Not much. What's going on? Not much. Do you have a couple minutes to talk? Yeah, sure, sweetie. What's up? Um, I've just been thinking a lot about next semester and studying abroad. I don't know if it's the right thing to do because I feel really guilty going away. Oh, don't, don't, I don't want you to feel guilty. But what if something happens with dad? It's hard to leave because it feels like something might happen. Okay. You kind of put a lot on pause to help dad. Right. Right. This is for me to take care of with your dad. So your daddy's sick and he's been sick for five years now. Five years. And he has the same thing that my dad had. Which also is probably not good for you. No, it's not. So I've experienced this as a daughter and I've experienced it as a wife. As a daughter, I was pregnant with you. So I was in my 30s. I wasn't in school. That part of my life was over. I couldn't do enough for my dad. I, couldn't, I wanted to go. I was at every appointment with him. I was Graham's support because I felt like she was alone by herself. But like I said, I was in a different place than you, okay? Had I been in school, I probably wouldn't have known how to handle that or what to do to help or what I should do. And as a mom, my mother probably would have been like, you need to get, live and do what you need to do and let me take care of this. And as a mom, and having experienced the other way, that is exactly how I feel. I feel that it, um, his wife, and he's my husband, and I will take care of him, and our kids need, need to go on with their life and live because you can't, you can't put your life on hold because God, God's the only one that knows how much time any of us have. You're wasting your precious years, you know, when our, your prime time for learning, and you, you need to go do your school, get your education just like your brothers did. You need to get all that done. You, you need to do that, and I, I don't think that that should be put on hold. There should be no guilt for that, and I think that you need to live your life. Yeah. You do the best that you can, and you know, make sure that you call. There's really nothing to help with. You can't, there's nothing that you're gonna do that's gonna change anything. We're very blessed that, you know, fortunate that yeah. for what he has that he's here. Yeah. Yes. I pray that, you know, that he would make it to your graduation and he's surpassed that, which is awesome. He's doing good. Sad some days when you think about it, but you can't let yourself get drawn into that. Yeah. Appreciate what you have. Yeah. Really makes you put things in perspective. Yeah, it puts it into perspective a lot. Um, I do appreciate a lot of the things you have done for me, whether it was at home, just because you could. I've been wanting to tell you that, and I think now, where I am, I realize how much it really was that you did. I think you definitely, you appreciate more, for sure, Yeah. when you come home. Yeah. Because now, every time you come home, you're usually like in the kitchen with me, Mommy, what can I do to help you? Mom, what can I do? Do you need me to do anything? you now do where before I want it. you know yeah. you didn't even think to do it unless I asked sorry <laughs> no. no but and I appreciate that I do appreciate that you're a very good kid you're so good kid yeah yeah and then as you got older and then you know left for college right yeah the relationship did change yeah and I didn't talk to you every day. It did change. But you know what? For you, I want you to be independent. I want you to be able to fly. I want you to be able to support yourself and take care of yourself. I think once I gained some independence, our relationship did get a lot stronger, at least on my side. Well, I, I, I wasn't like a crutch. You know what no. I mean? Sometimes you have crutches in your life, I feel like when you really depend on somebody, and sometimes you need to stand on your own two feet to realize yeah. that you can do it. Yeah, I just feel like now I can talk to you about a lot more though now. As you become older, you have different issues. Your problems change as you grow up. Like yeah. when you're a little girl, mommy can help you fix the problem. 
And then as you grow older, I can't so much. I just have to I give you guidance and support. And, and that's how it changes. I guess it was a big adjustment for me and dad when you did go away, especially for me. You're my, my person. You still are my person, but I needed to cut that cord a little bit yeah. for you to grow. I Listen, hope. you're probably going to make choices that I'm not always going to agree with. But you're my daughter, and that doesn't change the way I love you. And you'll always be my daughter, and I'll always be your mom. And we're always going to be close. There may be times when you're so mad at me. <laughs> but I think you'll get over it. <laughs> Sometimes you make me mad. But you push me a lot, and I, I do understand why. You're just starting. And you're just starting again. I'm actually going to do my own thing. It's time. I'm glad you're finally putting yourself first. I think it's finally time you do that. And it's good because you can still change your mind. You know what? You never stop changing. You never stop learning. So here I am, mid-50s, and making a change. Yeah. You need to realize that right now, even though we're in the middle of a pandemic, um, it's your time to do what you need to do. If you have the opportunity to go, you should go. Um, you might not have another opportunity again, but you definitely have to be cautious when you do go. Don't worry about me or your dad. Um, your, dad's, your dad will be okay, and so will I. Thank you. Thanks for what, sweetie? For knowing what to say. Miss you. Oh, oh I miss you too. I love you so much. I love you too. And Her. I will see you soon. I love you, babe. I love you too. Go study. Okay. Go have fun. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.